Let me explain the mechanistic steps for the part two for the diatizationization dietization reaction to form the diazonium. So we add um, sodium nitrate to uh, hydrochloric acid here in the chilled ice bath that's going to react with the hydrochloric acid to form uh, nitrous acid. So nitrous acid has this uh, formula here. Nitrous acid by itself is uh, actually unstable, so this is kind of why we buy something that's stable and we make it in situ at low temperatures, okay? So this is nitrous acid, which has the formula HNO2, so it's an analog of, um, you know, nitric acid. So there's a lot of HCl present, so we protonate this guy here. And then what happens is uh, water is a leaving group. And what you form is this strange looking creature here, which is uh, resonance stabilized. We can use these lone pairs on oxygen to come in. Okay. And um, this creature right here is called the nitroso ion. I will be using this uh, resonance form here in the rest of the mechanism. So basically, you're uh, mixing the nitric acid in the cold ice water mixture that contains hydrochloric acid, and you're forming the nitroso ion. Okay? Continuing on from here, now I'm just going to draw the um, this form of the sulfonilic acid, and uh, it's important to draw these lone pairs. Okay, so we want this to be nucleophilic. And um, we have the nitroso ion here. Okay. And um, we are going to use these lone pairs on nitrogen to attack the nitrogen. Okay. And uh, now we're going to create three bonds on nitrogen. So it's going to have a um, formal charge of zero. So it's going to be a neutral nitrogen atom. Okay, so this nitrogen that I'm highlighting here with the lone pairs now has three bonds to it. The aniline uh, moiety here is actually going to be protonated. So then we have water that's pr uh, present, you know, during this reaction. And um, it's going to deprotonate the proton here, giving us... this guy here okay and then uh, so let's draw in our all our lone pairs here it kind of gets busy um, and then what we have is uh, water is going to be acting as a base here okay So you can draw a resonance structure of, of, uh, of this. And then this is going to protonate with, um, you know, say, for example, hydrochloric acid to give you
this guy here, and this is called the diazo hydroxide. Okay, this weird functional group out here. A diazo is di means two, and azo uh, refers to the um, two nitrogens there, the nitrogen. And so this this is a hydroxide here. Okay, so I'll erase those kind of things, but that's the diazo hydroxide. Okay. And uh, we keep going from here, so we're going to protonate here. So there's a lot of uh, protonation, deprotonation, water leaving, and so on. The sulfonic acid group uh, doesn't really do anything. Okay, so we protonate here. And you probably have guessed what's going to happen. Water is a good leaving group here. And so what we want to do is use these uh, lone pairs here on this nitrogen atom to kick off water. And from that event, we form uh, that there. So this right here is called the diazonium, okay? And um, don't worry too much about the counter ion, whether that's acetate or, you know, something else. But this is our electrophile that we're going to use in the next part of the synthesis. And this is what uh, precipitates as a, a white solid in the video, in the lab video. So that's the 